Welcome to Kindergarten Sunday School. I'm glad you're back here again with me this week. This week, we're going to continue learning about how we can stand for truth. This week, we're going to learn about how we can pray. To follow Jesus, we need to talk to him. We need to pray. First, we're going to do our memory verse. Do you remember our memory verse this week? It's found in Jude verse 3. It says, Ye should earnestly contend for the faith. Ye should earnestly contend for the faith. Jude verse 3. Let's say it together. Ye should earnestly contend for the faith. Jude verse 3. Ye should earnestly contend for the faith. Jude verse 3. One more time and I think you'll have it. Ye should earnestly contend for the faith. Jude verse 3. All right, stand up. Let's sing a song together. That's why she tells me what I need to know. I got a lot of respect for that woman. But sometimes when I'm playing with a buddy or two, they're doing things that I'm not supposed to do. Do you go along, even though the things they do are wrong? Mm -mm, I remember saying, stand up, stand up, for what you believe in, believe in, believe in God. He's the one to back you up. That you gotta be cool Remember what you learned in church and Sunday school Just check it out The Bible tells us what it's all about Oh, you know that's right So if you have a question, go ask your dad And he can tell you if a thing is good or bad You'll make their day Uh-huh If you remember what your parents say what they say They told us received mail? I know I've always liked to receive mail, a letter from a friend, somebody that writes you a note or sends you a card. Sometimes you get birthday cards in the mail or you might get a postcard in the mail that somebody sends you on vacation. It's so much fun to get mail, to have people communicate with us and talk to us through the mail. Did you know that praying is kind of like sending mail? It's like talking to God. That's what praying is. It's talking to God. We are sending a message to God. Hmm, what are some things that you can pray about? I can talk about my worries. I will like pray about my mom. I could pray to God in my family, in my work, in my friends. I'm going to pray for my friends and my family. I can talk about God, how I feel, and about my day. I can talk to, about, to God about things I need. I can pray for our new church. I can pray for this church. Yes! Those are all great things to pray about. Those are all things you can pray about. You can talk to God about anything. You can even ask him anything. Now, does that mean he's going to answer you exactly the way you want him to answer you every single time? No. Will he even answer you when you want him to answer you every single time? 
No, sometimes we have to be patient and sometimes we just have to understand that there's a different answer than what we want. But God does always answer. He will answer your prayer. He will talk back to you sometimes. Sometimes he'll send someone else with an answer for you. Well, that's kind of what happened in today's Bible lesson. Today's Bible lesson is found in Daniel chapter 10. Now we know that Daniel prayed. That's one thing that the book of Daniel tells us that Daniel did a lot of. He prayed. He prayed morning, noon, and night. And Daniel prayed for his friends. That's a great thing to pray for. Well, Daniel was praying for his friends and God showed Daniel a vision. He gave Daniel a, like a dream, only Daniel is awake, not asleep. That's what a vision is. And Daniel saw all these things that were going to happen, but he didn't understand any of it. And he thought, I need to know more about this. And he started praying about it, asking God to show him what it all meant. But did Daniel get an answer right away? No. Daniel prayed and prayed and prayed. He prayed for one week. He still didn't have an answer. He prayed for two weeks and he still didn't have an answer. He prayed for three weeks and he still didn't have an answer. Oh, wait! An angel, after three weeks, an angel appeared to Daniel and said, Daniel, I heard you when you first started praying. I heard you. God sent me to you to give you an answer, to give you a message. And I heard you praying. I heard you asking, but I got stuck in Persia. I just couldn't get away from there. I fought and wrestled with the prince of Persia. I just fought and wrestled and I couldn't get away. For these whole three weeks, I heard you praying and I couldn't get to you because I was wrestling with the prince of Persia. But God sent the angel Michael to come and help me. So I left him fighting the prince of Persia and I come to, came to give you a message from God. And the angel gave Daniel the message from God. Now, what do you think would have happened had Daniel stopped praying because he didn't hear right away? Well, we don't know, but I kind of think he might not have gotten the answer like he wanted to get because he stopped praying about it. We can pray too. We can talk to God. We can talk to Jesus about anything, about everything, but it's important that we stay focused. Does your mom or your dad or your teacher ever say, you need to focus? That means not be distracted by other things going around. It's very important that when we pray, we focus on God. We don't become distracted by all the things around us. That we think about God and how awesome He is. That the Bible says, enter His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. That's how we can start our prayer. By saying, Jesus, I thank you. Thank you, Jesus, that you hear me. Thank you, Lord, for your house, your family, whatever you're thankful for. That's a great way to start praying. And then you can continue praying from there and tell Jesus all about whatever you want to tell him about. But we should pray every day. I can pray. You can pray. We can talk to God. If we want to go to heaven one day and we want to be with Jesus, it's important that we talk to Jesus, that we love him and we tell him how much we love him and we talk to him every single day, every day. I want to talk to Jesus. I want to focus on Jesus and talk to him just like he's right in front of me. All right, so we're going to pray right now and I want you to tell Jesus, thank you that I can pray to you that I can talk to you, Lord. Lord, help me, Jesus, to focus my mind. Lord, to build a relationship with you. Lord, to love you with everything that I have. Okay, are you ready? Let's focus and let's think about Jesus right now. Jesus, thank you, Lord, for all of your goodness and your mercy. Jesus, you are so good to us. 
Thank you, Lord, that we can pray, that we can talk to you, and that you listen to us, and that you will give us an answer, Lord, when we pray, that you, Lord, are there for us, and you love us so very much, Lord, that you are our best friend. You can be our very best friend. God, I pray, Lord, that you would help each one of these students, Lord, help them, Lord, to learn to love you and to worship you, Lord, and to pray to you every day, to develop a habit, Lord, that they pray to you before they do anything else every day, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy and your love. Thank you, Jesus, for who you are. Thank you, God, for how you answer my prayers, Lord, for how you have answered my children's prayers, God. Lord, there's not anybody too old or too young for you to listen to them. God, you listen to all of us, Lord, and you talk to all of us, Lord. And I thank you, Jesus, for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, for your love and for your words. We love you, Jesus, in Jesus' name. Everybody say, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, this week on your activity page, it says, building up your faith, prayer. When Daniel prayed, the angel of the Lord fought with the prince of Persia for three weeks to get to Daniel. Trace the number three and find the path that leads from the, from the angel to Daniel. We will pray like Daniel. God always answers prayer. Yes, he does. I have so many testimonies of how God has answered my prayer. You know what? There's some really awesome testimonies of how God have, has answered other people's prayers too. In some of the most spectacular ways. All right, and then on the back, you can also color Daniel prayed for others, and you can connect the dots and color the picture of Daniel praying. All right, I hope this week you will work to make sure that you pray every day. Find some time every single day, not just at a meal time, not just saying thank you for the food, <laughs> but also at some other time to pray and talk to Jesus. Tell him about your day. Tell him about your dog. Tell him about whatever you want to tell him about. But learn how to talk to Jesus, and he'll talk back to you too. All right, that's all for Sunday School this week. I will see you next week. Goodbye. God answer prayers because, well, Daddy was allergic to cats. Bubba prayed for Daddy. And we got two cats now. God answers prayer because one time these missionaries were on top of a hill and they were going to drive to the bottom where there was bandits waiting for them, ready to kill them. And they turned and said, in Jesus' name, and a road appeared. And later they didn't find the road. And God answers prayer. One time there was a lady washing dishes and she was pray praying for the money to pay their bills. And when she turned on the water, money came out instead of water. God answers prayer. One time I was sick, then they prayed for me at church, then, and then the next day I was healed. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our Father, Our Father who is in heaven, yeah, holy is your name. Let your kingdom come, let your will be done here, here on earth as in heaven the same. Every day, every day, I'm 
Every day I'm gonna pray Cause any time or place I can talk to you And you've got lots to say So I will listen to you 